What a night it is. Regional finals across the state. Winners moving on to the state semifinals. And at Kincaid Stadium tonight, one of the great rivalries in all of Texas high school football. A rematch of the Battle of Beltline. Number two ranked in state title favorite DeSoto taking on their rival Cedar Hill. DeSoto holds the belt and has for the last three meetings. They still will. Quarterback DJ Bailey with a deep shot here for Antonio Pride. 6-2 after the PAT was returned by Cedar Hill. It wouldn't matter though. DeSoto just too good. Their defense and special teams scoring three times. Marshall Curvin with the pick here for the touchdown. 21-2. Marvin Duffy, Tiger Ryden, Jaden Trawick all ran for touchdowns. Two, DeSoto dominates the Battle of Beltline rematch 59-16. Top ranked Alito looking for a 12th state title this fall. Abilene their opponent in the regional finals. Early on, Bearcats rolled. Devon Keys with the touchdown run here, making it look way too easy. 21-0 Alito still early in the first quarter. Still in the first. Haas Haney hits Colt McCoy in the flats. McCoy does the rest. 28-zip Bearcats. They cruise. 56-21, Alito once again on to the state semis. So they'll play the winner of this game. This was a good one. Lancaster and Forney in Region 2. Forney won an OT during the regular season. Lancaster in control early. Tigers quarterback Carter Jones hits Emmanuel Choice for a pair of first-half touchdowns. Weibo up 21-14 at the break. But Forney comes back to force OT. And in double overtime, the sophomore Javian Osborne, his third touchdown of the night, ties the game at 41. These young Jack Rabbits fans going nuts. Forney just needs the two-point conversion to win. And what a play design. Kyle Crawford rolls right, throws back left. Kofi Ediful catches the game-winning two-point conversion. Forney walks it off a winner, 43-41. Jack Rabbits onto the state semis. 5A D2 now. Frisco Emerson and Colleyville Heritage. This game was wild. 48 combined points in the third quarter alone. Look at Heritage QB Luke Ulrich leaping his way to the touchdown. Two-point game. But Emerson quarterback Michael Hawkins, the OU commit not to be outdone cutting and weaving and showing off the speed a 50 yard touchdown run up the left sideline and count him with him now his first second third fourth touchdown of the day to that point and he wasn't done later in the third he hits Kylan Evans for the touchdown Hawkins with three rushing and three passing Emerson hangs 59 on him and they are on to the state semis. 4A D1 now. Anna and Stephenville, a matchup of top five teams in the state in this one. Coyotes take control early. Edward Chumley shucks off the tackle, bangs across the goal line for a 16-yard touchdown. 10-zip Anna. Back comes Stephenville. Ryan Gafford keeps it himself for the nine-yard touchdown run. 14 straight points, but the Yellow Jackets up 14-10. But Anna closes the quarter on a 21-point run. Zyandre Williams to Sean Steens, breaking three. Yellow Jacket tackles here, 13 yards for the score. Coyotes win it 41 to 21. Former Cowboys tight end Jason Witten never has won a championship at any level before tonight. Leading his Argyle Liberty Christian squad, featuring his two sons into the Taps D2 title game. And Witten's squad would make quick work of this one. Senior quarterback Cole Welliver finished off a dazzling year. The touchdown pass here to Brady Janicek. Liberty Christian led 21-3 in the second quarter. Welliver threw for three scores. Chase Garnett ran for three scores and 187 yards. And Argyle Liberty Christian, led by Jason Witten, wins the Taps Division II state title in a rout of Austin Regents. Meanwhile, in Division I, Parish Episcopal going for a fifth straight state championship facing Houston St. Thomas. St. Thomas made him sweat. Late third quarter, Dante Lewis hits Luke Edgecombe for the touchdown. St. Thomas had a 22-19 lead after the two-point conversion, but Parrish has Maddox Reed, and Maddox Reed does stuff like this. The 16-yard touchdown run gives Parrish the lead 26-22. He'd have another in the fourth four in total on the day, and the Panthers win a fifth consecutive state title.